and then you could tuck it in, which means some hand sewing. I lied. <laughs> I lied. It's some my hand sewing is going to, oh yeah, that's. I'm trying my best to give you a quick and easy project, a no sew project. Let's hope this will go down that route. So I haven't done anything like this before. So I've got some sweatpants here and I want to turn these sweatpants into a long sleeve top. I think the shop's going to be quite short as well. Um, so let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's see if I can manage this. An easy project where there's going to be no sewing involved. No hand sewing included too. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be using the inner side of the leg to cut an opening there. So it creates a neck hole. Like so. Okay, that, 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 that works. And then we have the legs become the sleeves. Okay, it's gonna be a really quick and easy project. It's just knowing how much to cut. We'll do it correctly, actually. So I'm going about there, I'm gonna put a pin in. So I think the best thing to do is just place it onto your body like I've just shown you. It gives you a good idea of how, where you're going to be needing to cut and if you have to cut any bigger, say for example, you want it to be a lot longer, the cut, then you can always go out, but start small. It's always advisable to start small and then if you need to cut any more, then gradually do it in increments. So I'm starting there. I think it's best to turn to the wrong side as well. So I'll just get my pin. Because that way you can see the seam then. So I'll bring it down in a moment so you can see. And then we can, then we can start cutting and then we'll do a fit and then we'll do maybe another thing after that, just to see if we're happy with the neckline. I think you can have to do a couple of fits so that you're happy with the placement of where the neck is going to fall or whether we're going to have to scoop a little bit to get that round shape that we need to fit our necks through. Okay, so right, wrong side. Bring it down and let's start cutting. So there's one pin from that centre, front or centre back seam and then I'm going to fold it in half so I can have a pin on the other side. Okay, so this is going to be the opening section. So I'm just going to get my scissors and cut. I'm just going to cut away the actual, this overlock seam here, just cut along there, then now and then we'll try it on and then see if we need to do a bit more scooping to the neck in order to get it to look nice and to lie a little bit flat around the neck. Okay, yeah, I can get my head around that. Okay, so there's the whole, it looks like a neckline, doesn't it? Right, take it to the right side, making sure I've got the back of the hands towards the back and the front to the front. Even though I don't think it will make that much difference depending on the shape of your joggers because I tend to make them quite even <laughs> to the back and front depending where you get your sprung. Okay. Oh my, that's not bad actually. Hey, that's quite cute. And I think because I've got the string pulling through here, 
feels comfortable. That's well, nice actually. That really is nice. I <laughs> like what's going on here. Shade the back. There's a lot of fabric underneath here. There is a lot. I don't know if I should cut it. I'm going to cut it a bit more because, because there's quite a lot of fabric under the armhole. It just feels not comfortable. It feels comfortable, but it just feels there's too much there. And yeah, I can feel myself pulling it down if I was to keep it this way. So I'm going to actually open up the neck a little bit more. So I've got more of my shoulders coming went through I think yeah you can scoop it that way if you want it lower if this, if this doesn't bother you or it's a much more lighter weight fabric um but I definitely want to yeah I want to take mine a bit here and it'll create a little bit more of a kind of bat wing hopefully so let's see how it goes it's not bad it's nice style nice shape it's nice Hmm. I, like that. I like the folds in it. I don't know if I should go ahead and do that. Do excuse me while I look into the mirror. See these folds here? They are gorgeous. Nice. to just cut just a little bit more I think yeah and because the short the sleeves are a little bit short as well so if I release a little bit more here it should drop the sleeves down just a little bit more I think yeah I'm going to give that a go hello fashion sewers I hope you are well if you are new to my channel I'm Colleen G. Lee. My channel's all about inspiring, motivating, and sharing ideas to upcycle fashion. So if you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm on the Patreon platform where there are three, yes, three different levels that you can join, link in the description. So I have pins in where I would like it to be open to. So I'm not going to go start straight from the pin. I'm just going to come a little bit away from that and then cut. Because I want to make sure that it doesn't fall off my shoulders. And you have to be careful with knits. Okay. Do the same on the other side. Okay. Yeah, so, so another fitting. Remember, if you wanted to scoop, what scoop actually means? It means it's just going to, you're going to give it a lot more of a curved shape towards the front and back of the seam. More to the front than the back. That's the advice that I'll give. That is a nice neckline. If you wanted to, you could even come even further, cut further away. Not too far though, because otherwise it will fall off you. But that is a gorgeous shape. And then you can tuck it in, which means some hand sewing. I lied. <laughs> I lied. And so my hand sewing is going to, oh yeah, that's a lot better. A lot better. I would recommend hand sewing, but there you could use, um, glue if you wish but definitely hand sewing yeah I lied I'm sorry <laughs> but you can also leave it your edge as well that's up to you if you want that look that's still I, I would definitely wear this just with that raw edge like that with pair of jeans absolutely yeah but this one I, I definitely want to do a little bit of hand sewing says me <laughs> Let me show you the back. And these folds are gorgeous. I'm liking these folds. 
there's still a lot of fullness under here and the more that you come off your shoulders with the, your cutting and um, the more that will drop and be, it'll be like a back wing but it's comfortable and yeah it's a quick no-so project almost um that i'm loving so you know what i'm gonna say so if you follow my channel if you're a follower of my channel you know what i'm gonna say when i do my wednesday tutorials i always style my tutorials i always style the projects but you have to wait until Friday. That's when I do my outfits of the week, where I show you garments that I have refashioned, garments that I have actually made, and also um, shop bought pieces and tin more together, so that we keep on wearing clothing. We do not think about putting them into landfill. Anyway, so yeah, but I'm loving this, yeah, it's fine. Would I cut it anymore? No, I'm happy with that actually. I mean, once I've turned it under like that, it gives it a nice, clean, finished edge. I'm happy with that. Yeah. If I come across another pair of sweatpants, I'll definitely, yeah, make another. So I'm going to share with you some advice and tips. Not all knits are created equal. So be careful when you come to cut that you don't cut too wide. Um, it's, it's just because if, if you do, you're gonna get you're gonna find disappointment and you won't continue with the, with the project. So my my knit was quite firm. So this is the decisions I made in order to start cutting were the right ones for this type of knit. So the best advice I can give you when you're cutting knits is to start small and then go out with your cuts and then you'd be happy with the result. That way you guarantee to have a project that you're going to be completing. So remember cut then fit, cut then fit, cut then fit. That's the best way to tackle um, knit, knit fabrics with any project, not only this project. Um, yeah, yeah um, this one, you've got a choice of necklines. So you can go for a really close neckline which was the first one that I did before I did the first fitting and this is the second fitting and I do like this I do like this v-neck line shaping you can actually curve it a bit more if you wanted to so that's possible once you've sorted this out then go back and if you wanted a different kind of neckline you can slightly curve this out a little bit more um, and also the back but I'll keep the back as is because the back is always higher than the front because you know you've got to consider all your head and your chins your chin so um yeah i would say that would be the best advice and just go go just go slowly the hand sewing bit um <laughs> your personal choice you know what i'm gonna say hand sew you need to practice if you're going to be following my channel, hand sewing is going to be the thing that I'm going to insist that you do in order to get that beautiful design and finish touch to your project. So if you enjoyed this video and you want me to do more easy video tutorials, then please let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Please do share. Don't forget to hit the bell when you subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.